Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me today at the shorefront of Rutland Water, um, which is actually one of the biggest reservoirs in the UK. It's uh, about 4.2 square miles of surface area, so it's, it's absolutely massive. Um, and it takes about 20 minutes, half an hour to ride round it. I tried to get a point where I could get my motorbike down here, um, but there isn't anywhere around this part. Um, so I've, I've done a little walk down a footpath from the village of Upper Hambleton, which is absolutely a stunning village. Um, and to create this um, reservoir, they actually had to flood uh, Nether Hambleton uh, and Middle Hambleton to make this, but Upper Hambleton survived. And it's an absolutely stunning uh, village, very wealthy and some beautiful properties. So uh, we'll take a walk back through there um, and get back on the bike and do a little bit of a ride um, and get a pub lunch somewhere. a bit harder of a walk than I thought it would be. Uh, stupidly, I thought it was going to be cold today, so I brought my um, sort of plaid shirt and my leather jacket, so I ended up being rather hot, and uh, I mean it's not that hot, it's about 22 degrees, but that's the hottest we've had for about six weeks in this country. Um, so I'm very envious of people in these hot countries right now, you're making me jealous. You may have noticed that in this video, I've used more GoPro footage than I normally do. Um, one, because I wanted to try out a new, more laid back style of video, which I hope you've enjoyed. Um, and two, because Bikeshore are giving you a chance to win a GoPro Hero 11 Black. Um, that's the latest GoPro with all the latest technology. Um, and you can win it for absolutely free. Um, so if you click the link in the description, you can enter the competition for your chance to win a GoPro Hero 11 Black. Um, and while you're at it, you might as well get a new insurance quote, whether you've got um, your renewal coming up or you're thinking of buying a new bike and you want to find out how much it's going to cost you, um, they can insure you as an individual. So they'll take you into account no matter how crazy your bike is, how modified it is, and they can get you a policy. So click the link in the description, um, enter the competition and get yourself a quote to see how much your insurance will be. This house is called House. I'm absolutely desperate for a wee. Um, there's a nice pub over here called the uh, Finch's Arms, but it's rather expensive. I don't fancy paying for a drink. Probably could just walk in there. There's a nice church over here. I'll see if it's got a toilet. Churches. I like to visit a the church. They're very pretty. I like to see if I can get up the spire, but it's almost always impossible nowadays. They always lock them, but it's beautiful to get up there and see out the top. You see so far. It's lovely. It's very nice. So, that's the village of Hambleton then, very nice. Let's get back on the bike, go for a ride, find a nice pub and get some grub.
join me now at the Sun Inn in Great Eastern. Uh, it's a beautiful pub. Uh, it was done up a couple of years ago. It's very nice and a lovely village. Um, and they're currently doing half price pizzas and they do really good pizzas here. They've got a proper pizza oven. Um, so what more can you ask for? Maybe you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Join me now at uh, Ibrook Reservoir on the way home. Uh, I've come to soak in some sun while I can, get some more vitamin D um, since we've been lacking in sunshine in the UK recently. Um, it's probably the worst summer I've ever experienced. It's just been so mild and cold uh, and wet. Um, but Europe's had a fantastic summer, some really hot weather throughout Europe. Um, but we're missing out in the UK. Um, that was a lovely lunch I just had. Um, I had a tandoori lamb pizza uh, which is absolutely delicious and it came to about £11.50 um, for a pizza and a coke so not too bad staff are very friendly uh, so definitely recommend it if you're exploring the Rutland slash Leicestershire area um, it's just on, on the border of Leicestershire so it's just across from Rutland um, not far but uh, definitely worth checking out if you're in the area. I tried to get out nice and early this morning uh, about nine o'clock, half nine I tried to leave um, and I went to get the bike out and I've not ridden it for about three weeks because um, the weather's been rubbish and I've been working um, and I went to start it and it was flat as a pancake so um, that was a bit of an annoyance uh, for once I was actually out early um, so I'm not very much of a morning person I find it hard to get out in the morning um, so I had to put it on charge for about an hour and then it started it's been fine um, but um, other than that a couple of things um, with the bike since owning it. Over the winter, having it in the garage, it gets a bit of condensation on it. And around the wheels, there's a little bit of speckly rust, um, which is really annoying. I don't like rust, but it's chrome um, and it's prone to rust um, if things like that happen. Now I've tried to um, sort of get it off with turtle wax polish. Uh, but it hasn't worked at all. I spent about an hour really scrubbing away um, and it made no difference. So if you can recommend a chrome polish that will get rid of blemishes and small amounts of rust, it's very subtle, I will show you, um, then please do let me know in the comments because I'd love to get rid of it. It's uh, doing my head in. If you watched my recent video, um, going over the motorcycle licensing, licensing laws, the motorcycle licensing laws, um, you may have noticed that uh, <laughs> um, I'm redoing my test to do my A license, my full uh, bike license. Um, now I'm actually doing that on a Yamaha this time, a Yamaha MT-07. Um, so very smooth bike, um, very nimble and very easy to control. Now last time I did my test, I did it on this and it was near enough impossible. All the slow manoeuvres on a big 300kg long wheelbase Harley Davidson was really difficult. And the test is not, it's not thought out to take into account different types of motorcycle. It's designed for one type of bike, so if you're not taking it on that kind of bike, you're stuffed really. Um, and I did actually have to do my Mod 1 twice uh, because I failed on the U-turn the first time when I did my A2 license. 
um, because it wasn't wide enough to turn this bike in that space. And the second time I did it, luckily the instructor made it wider for me so that I could actually get round. And he said that there's no way you're going to get round that on this bike. So luckily I had a good instructor. But normally um, they won't do that for you. You know, if you get a certain type of person, they're not happy to change anything for you. And luckily I had a nice guy. Um, but yeah, so in a couple of weeks time I will be doing my Mod 1 and then my Mod 2 and then I will have my full licence so I never have to think about it ever again, finally. Um, and that brings um, a couple of questions. Do I make this bike uh, more powerful? I'm thinking about uh, putting a cam in there, uh, maybe a SNS 475 um, cam, which gives it that lovely low P old school Harley sound, um, that potato potato noise that everyone lusts after, um, but also gives you more power, more torque, so you've got a much more uh, responsive bike. And I would actually consider changing the front disc brake to a bigger one um, to account for bigger stopping power when, I'm going, uh, when you've got a faster bike. So the brakes aren't fantastic on this bike. Um, or I could trade it in and get something else, but. I don't think I'd want to do that because I really do love this bike. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below.